Seattle. Oh wait, should I be looking at you or the camera? Actually We are here at the home of Luna Sandals in Seattle Solo Wheel. If you haven't seen a Solo Wheel, it sort of looks like a unicycle had sex with a Segway. Um, it's sort of discs that people ride around. There's no handlebars. It looks very space agey. We're gonna go find out exactly what it is. <laughs> The level of exertion is about like walking, but at your top speed, you're running like a um, elite marathon runner. Once again, you have your hands free. Carry an umbrella, talk on your iPhone, drink a coffee. Basically, anywhere a human being can walk, you can go. It's $1,495, whoa, my God, you know? Basically, the fuel's free. The fuel at 1.2 cents an hour, I mean, knock yourself out. So this is battery powered? How battery powered. It recharges as you go downhill. So you can, it has regenerative braking. So how do you deal with the sort of embarrassment factor with people like staring at you and pointing? Well, you have to be a barefoot Ted type of person. Oh yeah, I might be actually noticing something that other people are gonna benefit from. And then you just learn how to be smug. <laughs> and you real, and then, and this is what the solo, uh, the Segway was never able to do. What we're doing is we're making the solo wheel cool. Um, should we go, should we go do it? Uh, yeah. Here we go, um, this will be your wheel, the white one. So now you can sort of lean it forward, lean it backwards, and then can you just sit there, you relax, right? Yeah, I'm relaxed. Wheel's not going anywhere. I'm chill. You're, you're chill, okay. Do you start on your dominant foot or your undominant foot? It would be whatever's comfortable to you. Yeah. You just don't jump off, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna let go of you, so. All right. Stay with me, let's get some more speed, more. More, 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 and more. There. Relax where you can. This is good. This is great. I'm she sold. Did. Stand up tall. We have an Relax the shoulder. Here. Do you think this looks cool? Stay on it. Don't need to jump off. That was not what I wanted to do. Push it. Stay on it. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. I'm getting worse at it. All right, we need to take a breather. You've, you've forged some paths in your brain mm -hmm. for this kind of behavior. Okay. Through other things you've done. What have you done? Um, I was a kayaker. That was my big thing. Oh yeah, kayaking. Okay. Yeah, more. I'm, I'm better at sitting down sports. Yeah. Well, you have to completely convince your brain. Yeah. That you're in control of stopping this machine. Yeah. Once okay. It starts I'm in control of this. I am in control of this machine. So I'm. I think I think I'm done. Katie can ride it perfectly well with me. It's when uh, she's on her own and she's confronted with how to stop the thing. She's resorting to other th things that probably work maybe on a bicycle. You jump off it. Or jump off or whatever. Well, that was one of the more humiliating experiences of my life. I'm really shocked at how bad I was at it. Um, but that said, can I see this as the future of transit in a city? And I could. Uh, it's convenient, relatively inexpensive, and I think it would be really fun if you could stand up on it on your own. So yeah, maybe this is the future of transit, but probably not for me. Yeah, they really get it, because there's this element of having, you're gliding, but you're Thursday we have a really awesome drum circle right here. It is so much fun. One of my favorite things to do.